Renowned Irish artist John Dunn has been painting all his life. The, after the war there was, was very little and so uh, all we had, there were seven children in my own family, uh, in brothers and sisters and so forth. All of us actually used our imagination in drawing. But his imagination was really fired when he discovered Eastern art while working with the British Air Force. In middle age, he came to a deeper faith and began to focus more on the sacred. What art is trying to do, it is trying to it remind us of ultimate concerns, so it's things that are concerning to us. And so you have a, a good, good art will be able to bring that across. Uh, the church can do it. Also churches and religion can remind us of what is important, but art can do it also. But then all art should do that. It's not just sacred art, all art. Your task as an artist is in fact uh, to, first of all, to reach inside yourself and to find something that is more than just uh, on the surface of life. But then that's only half the equation. So the faith element comes in between two people, between the viewer and the artist. You can't have one without the other, as they say, because a good piece of art uh, will move someone. There are many people who've stood before paintings, even the, say, Rotko, with these large, just pure color, uh, scenes, enormous things, and they've actually cried and broken down, and they don't know why this is. John and his family are part of the community of Nazareth. From them, he gets great encouragement for his sacred art. And often, especially if you're doing the sacred theme, which is religious art, there's very little of that. You don't get it from galleries, and you don't get it from the world today. Your faith environment is very important. During good painting, I'm listening to the work and I'm looking at the work and I'm, in a way, the work is revealing it itself to me. You're left in a space, it's not a negative space, but you're left in a silence and that silence is like a meditation. So it's, it's important that you have the time and the, the, the space to be able to allow whatever you're doing to come through. And I think it's the closest I'll get to a spiritual experience.